Ah, Percy. Thomas's best friend and one of the most popular characters of the Thomas and Friends franchise, the youngest engine on the island of Sodor. He's a happy little engine and sometimes a little naive. Today, we go through the history of this seemingly simple steam engine. Let's jump in. Percy first appeared in the 1950 book Troublesome Engines, written by the Reverend W. Audrey, in the story Trouble in the Shed. It's a story that was inspired by the real British Railroad labor strikes going on at the time. The big engines, James, Gordon, and Henry, refused to shunt their own coaches and refused to move. Sir Topham Hatt's solution to this was to travel to the mainland and purchase an engine to work in the yard. He went to a workshop and they showed him all sorts of engines. At last he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Percy would become a member of the steam team, going on lots of adventures, like crashing into the sea, racing a helicopter, spooking Thomas as a ghost, and merely having a head-on collision with Gordon. When Percy was illustrated by Reginald Dalby, Audrey would complain, writing to him that Percy looked more like a caterpillar than an engine. Insulted by this, Dalby would resign from the railway series. This would be referenced later in the story Woolly Bear, when Thomas insults Percy. A green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one too. Percy would be illustrated by John Kenny and Peter Edwards later on. However, oddly enough, it was Dalby's version of Percy that made it into the television series. In 1984, the Thomas characters would become a global phenomenon when Brett Alcroft adapted the Railway series into a TV show. Just like the other characters, Percy was a working model that was hand-built with automotive paint and red automotive pinstripe tape, powered by a DC motor. Nineteen different face masks would be used for Percy's various expressions, but only seventeen would be seen on screen. By the time of the tenth season, the original Gage 1 Perspex model would be retired, replaced by a brass model. For the spin-off series Jack and the Sodor Construction Company, a larger 3.5 gauge model of Percy would be used. This model was track-powered and had six different facial expressions, but only four of them would be seen on screen. This model now resides at the Yusuke Museum in Japan, while the brass model is on display at the Hara Model Railway Museum, also in Japan, and the Perspex model is owned by Twitter user Thomas Tank Merch. Unlike the books, it was the TV series that made Percy Thomas his best friend, and in the model series, his personality varied. In the early years, he was more mature, having his own struggles, becoming short-tempered when pushed too far. All right, then, Arsdale End. That's my home, replied Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here saying I'm silly. Unfortunately, in later seasons, Percy's character would be dumbed down quite a bit. What's a museum? asked Percy. Uh, what's a spotless record? whispered Percy. Oh well, one thing that does make Percy a fun character is that he is accident prone. In 2009, Thomas and Friends would make the transition to CGI by Nitrogen Studios. Percy would be hand sculpted in Maya, a 3D imaging software. He increased in size, gained a new face, and his own voice. Martin T. Sherman, the same voice for Thomas, would also voice Percy from 2009 to 2014. I like your jokes, but if I don't get going, I'm going to be late. And Christopher Ragland from 2014 to 2021. That's not all! Photographers will be there too, which means I'm going to have my picture in the newspaper. There was also Keith Wickham and Nigel Pilkington for the UK dub. During the Nitrogen era, Percy would continue to be a major character for the franchise. However, his episodes weren't the best. 
In 2013, new head writer Andrew Brenner would produce Better Thomas episodes, along with a new animation company, Arc Productions. It was here that Percy's character really shined. In episodes like Missing Gator, Percy is reflective and stoic for once, missing an old friend. And the perfect gift, where Percy is concerned that Reg doesn't have enough Christmas cheer in the gloomy scrapyards. These episodes improved Percy's character arc. Percy also played a major role in the 2014 movie Tale of the Brave, where Thomas and Percy's friendship is put to the test, and Percy learns what it truly means to be brave. In the years to follow, the Thomas brand would continue to produce good content. Until the terrible rebrand in 2018, when the show was modernized, all quality was lost. And in 2021, the original Thomas series would be cancelled, replaced by the preschool reboot, when sadly, we saw Percy like this. But we're not here to discuss how corporate greed destroyed a beloved franchise. We're here to focus on Percy, more specifically his basis. Let's jump in. One of the many reasons why Thomas is so appealing is the connection to real life. All the characters that the Reverend W. Audrey created are based on real engines. Percy, however, is unique. According to Audrey's rare book, The Island of Sodor, Its People, History, and Railways, he writes that Percy started work on Sodor in 1955 and is a combination of different engine parts from both Hunslet and the Avonside Engine Company. This would make sense. The Avonside 040ST Trojan, built in 1897, does resemble Percy. The differences that separate Percy from Trojan would be not having a bunker, a different smoke box, and a different saddle tank design. Trojan is the closest we can get to Percy's real life counterpart, because Percy is a character whose designer and definite basis remains a mystery, since he's a hodgepodge of different designs. What you see here is Percy randomly appearing in the 1967 show, The Avengers. In the episode, a funny thing happened on the way to the station, as a model train that Mrs. Peel finds a note in. Maybe somebody in the show liked Thomas, and wanted to have the 1967 Meccano in the show, instead of some generic engine. It's extremely unusual to have a Thomas reference in 1960s espionage, or any Thomas character appearance in media, years before the Brit Allcroft adaption. Anyway, back to the history. In the book, Sodor, reading between the lines by the Reverend W. Audrey's son, Christopher Audrey, it does give us a little more information about Percy's history. This is what it reads. The Fat Controller needed a shunting engine and bought an appealing hybrid from a factory on the mainland. Percy defies certain identification, and it sometimes appears that he was put together by using any appropriate parts that came to hand. Components from both Avonside of Bristol and Hunslet of Leeds were among the commonest, but by no means exclusively. This is probably the former of these two major concerns that can claim most responsibility. After purchase, Percy saw service first in the yard at Tidmouth, then assisting the construction of the harbour near Natford Junction. He is now in charge of freight traffic on the Farquhar branch, Several Percy lookalikes can be found on preserved railways, but none are identical. While the book doesn't elaborate on Percy's story before he came to Sodor, it's still very detailed information. As you can see, the world of Thomas is full of history and heritage. These rare books dive deep into Sodor's history, from the start of the railways, the geography, and important people that date back to the 14th century. So join me in future videos as I analyze them. Percy may not be the most intelligent, but he is innocent. Even though he's a talking train, we can all learn to be more like him, to see the world with an open heart and tap into that childlike innocence that Percy embodies. Maybe that's why he's one of the most famous characters in the world. Hopefully you learned something new about Percy. Please subscribe to the channel. A lot of work was put into this video, and there will be more. So I'll see you guys next time.